Hey, what's up, guys? Konnichiwa. This is uh, Teacher Keith, and this is my second installment on tourism in Japan. Uh, we will continue to be reading out of National Geographic Traveler Japan. Okay, so one of the things I love about National Geographic Traveler is the pictures. You can see that they have uh, depicted this castle, very lovely depiction there. So we continue to uh, talk about uh, Tokyo. This is called Central Tokyo. You can see the lovely pictures here of that stroll through the business part of Tokyo. All right, so here we go. Uh, Central Tokyo comprising Chuoku, Chiyotaku, and the north of Minatoku. The center of Tokyo is given, given over mainly to administration. Kasum in parentheses, Kasum Gasaki and Hibiya, business and finance, Muru, Muru Nochi, Otemachi, Nihambashi, and shopping at various focal points throughout. Aside from the Imperial Palace, and some good museums, the tourist sites are few. The sedate streets of towering offices in Muronochi at least afford a glimpse of the economic engine that drives Japan. At lunchtime, Muronochi business employees work off stress with a stroll in Hibiya Cohen Park. Near the Imperial Palace, a pleasant but unremarkable oasis of green. Despite wartime bombing and runaway modernism, some pre-war Western-style buildings survive in the area, including the Bank of Japan and Tokyo Station. That place is worth seeing. All right, let's look at the Imperial, Imperial Palace, also known as Kokyo, uh, stands on the site of what was Idojo Castle, <clears throat> a crumbling 14th century fortress magnificently restored by the Shogun Tokugawa Ayesu. In the 1590s, by the mid 17th century, it was the largest castle in the world. Almost a walled city. The structures were burned down, notably during the May Recchi Fire of 1657 and rebuilt several times. The castle was too dilapidated for Emperor Meiji to live in when he moved to Tokyo in 1868. He inhabited the Akasaka Detached Palace pending the building of a new palace on the original palace site in 1888. The new palace was destroyed during the bombing of 1945 and present building was completed in 1968. The massive walls and surrounding moats are part of the original Edojo complex, as is the restored Otiman Gate, which stands beyond the famous Nijubashi Access Bridge and before the East Garden. The actual site of Edojo, elegantly landscaped and with ponds and pines, and the garden contains the ruins of Edojo and the 100 guard office built in 1863, the last remaining original structure. 
Within the garden is the Imperial Palace itself. It is open to the public only on January 2nd. And on the Emperor's birthday, December 23rd. But huge crowds make this a grueling experience. The outer palace garden within the outer moat to the south of the palace compound is a public park. An un propose an unproposessing except for an impressive view over Nijubashi bridge and the palace walls it is popular with joggers strollers from nearby business districts and courting couples it's an amazing picture Okay, and they have a big picture of the Japanese people celebrating and screaming uh, for the emperor's birthday. Okay, all right. Kitan Kitanomaru Cohen Park on the north side of the Imperial Palace grounds is notable as the site of Nippon Budokan. A martial arts stadium now largely used as a venue for rock concerts and for its museums. The Science Museum, less than a quarter of a mile southeast, does not have the reputation of the national equivalent in Ueno. But hands on exhibits make it a perennial favorite with school children okay continuing on national museum of modern art uh, let's go to yasukuni jinja shrine founded in 1869 honors the 2.5 million soldiers who died for their country during and since the meiji era the enshrinement of world war ii criminals along with them has sparked bitter controversy both in japan and abroad however war criminals are a minority among the soldiers honored and as a place visited by families pray paying their respects to lost relatives the shrine has had great poignancy the adjacent museum Yushukan contains military memorabilia and hardware and is of historical interest. Despite its controversial reputation, Yasukuni is a favorite spot for viewing cherry blossoms in April. Okay. all right so we just have a few pictures here is the one in the Edo Joe castle it's a very lovely place that you can see where the emperor once lived and uh yeah, so anyway, there you have it. That is my second installment in the ongoing series of tourism in Japan that was about Tokyo uh, again. <laughs> All right, so have a wonderful day. Sayonara, sayonara.